Hi, I'm Stacy from C3 Controls, and today I'll be installing accessories on UL49 miniature circuit breakers and UL1077 supplementary protectors. The lock-off attachment is actually a simple construction. Combine these two edges together and they should snap. Make sure you can squeeze this attachment. This attachment part will go on the top. In this bar there are two holes, one on each side, and that's where you're going to insert these into. So you're going to squeeze and insert into these two holes. So after you've inserted that, it should expand, allowing you to push down on this locking aspect of it, and you should hear a snap. Now it is padlock ready. Next, we are going to install our alarm auxiliary onto our 1077 supplementary protector in just four easy steps. First, you want to remove the adhesive cover on the side of your MCB. This only applies to the regular auxiliary and the alarm auxiliary. Second, you want to hook this top hook into the notch on the top of your MCB. Next, you want to align the white bar inside of the black operating handle. And last, you want to align the bottom clip into the notch at the bottom of your MCB and just snap everything together. Now let's move on to the functionality of the alarm auxiliary contact. You can tell that the circuit breaker connected to this contact has tripped based off the blue button indicator being in the down position. It can be reset by switching it into the reset position. This is also true with the regular auxiliary contact. This alarm auxiliary is also equipped with a test button that can simulate a trip of the circuit breaker. First, make sure the circuit breaker is in the off position and contacts are open. The test button will then show marked with a T. Pull the test button down and you can see that the reset button has tripped and is now in the down position needing to be reset. Push up on the reset button and now the circuit breaker is ready for regular operation. Please do not confuse the test button and the reset button. And do not use the reset button as a test button. Well, that's it for today. For more information, please visit c3controls.com. Thanks and have a great day.